What's going on? This is Legend of All About the Kicks. But subscribe to that channel. Put it like on that button. Madonna, man. Madonna out here tripping. I don't mean as that. Madonna, when you call her, we call her a legend. In the hood, we love her. You know what I'm saying? Everybody love her. She dated all the best people you could think of. All our, one of our, all our, all our greatest players, basketball players and rappers. She dated Tupac. She dated Dennis Robin. She dated Lenny Kravitz. She dated, we could go on and on. Madonna loves some black men. And we salute Madonna. She, you know what I'm saying? We know a, a, a lot of situations where she deal with a lot of drug dealer dudes that says she's loyal as fuck and she, she look out with them when they went to jail and all that. So she got that legendary all in. But Madonna, she, you know, you know how women are. They get a certain age, maybe around 50, 60 years old. They feel like they got to get them a young guy to make them feel young. And I feel like Madonna, like, needed to just act her age. Like, she was 62 years old right now. And, you know, she had a lot of plastic surgery done. You know what I'm saying? But she still looked good for her age. You know what I mean? I thought I always thought Madonna would get her, her breast done, get her, get her butt done. But she never did. Uh, salute to her about that, just keeping the body real. But the face, she did got done. I feel like just, you know, age naturally. But, I mean, she had so much work done through the years. Um, she don't look bad as little Kim, but, you know, she be looking crazy a little bit sometimes. But I, I love Madonna. Her music is crazy. I love her music. I still listen to her music. I mean, she's, she's a legend. She's an icon. I just feel like, listen, just do a, a do a tour. Do a tour. Let your fans. I know you did so many tours in your whole career. You've been out since 83. But I'm just saying, like, do a tour. And um, just, just keep it keep it 100. Like, she broke up with her boyfriend. Now she got a 29-years-old boyfriend. She was dating a 24-years-old boyfriend. Now um, she got a, five year, a dude who was five years older than him. And um, we'll see what happens with that situation. But salute to Madonna. She need to chill out at her age. You're not a grandma yet, but you are 60, man. So you need to just, you know, at your age. Next topic, let's go. Now, Charlamagne the God said if uh, Adidas um, take Kanye back, he'll suck a D. Charlamagne, you be on that bull stuff, man. He said this on his podcast the other day. Um, Charlamagne be saying some crazy shit. Do I think Charlamagne gay? I don't know. I love Charlamagne. I like, you know, he, he kind of dumbled down through the last couple years. He haven't been really crazy and ratchet. And that's why I used to watch Power, Power, uh, The Breakfast Club because Charlamagne would say what he was on his mind. He didn't give a fuck. Us. He didn't care about nothing. He just said what he had to say. And most of the time he was telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? But the point is he, he doubled down now because like when you get in corporate and you start getting these big major deals and figure checks and stuff, people kind of like don't want to be around that ratchet stuff. So he doubled down on a lot of stuff, man. But I still like him. But you talk about you want to, you know, suck a penis you wildin me you wildin <laughs> you know you better hope they don't take kanye back because you're gonna have to get on your knees and do that and hope that don't happen because <laughs> you know i'm a shot fan but shot be doing like i said he be going a little bit too far sometimes let's go next topic so gorilla that's one of my favorite female artists right now you know she's on tour you know doing her little thing around promoting up you know the lp um she did a um a concert or whatever and um her bodyguard was like gorilla you tripping um she wanted her she wanted him to beat somebody up some female or something like that because they threw water at her um i guess you know his, her his job is to get her out the venue to be safe you know what i'm saying you can't just beat up people that's lawsuits he could go to jail for that he could get fired i mean she could fire him he could he, he'd, he'd get some you know he'd get hired somewhere else but um she wanted him you know to beat up the fan you know, because she threw, you know, the person threw water at her. Um, it's, it's a fan, you know, people, maybe we got mad at you. Maybe the performance wasn't good. Maybe you only did a couple songs. You know, fans get mad. I, I get mad sometimes with these artists. We pay, you know, a lot of money to go see them. And they don't perform the way they should perform. And I, I had that, you know, happen with Fabulous. You know, he came down here. He he, he, he post started at 9 o'clock. He didn't start until 1030. Um, and he only did five songs. You know, I paid 60 bucks at the time was 60 bucks um we, we want our money worth doesn't matter how much you pay you can pay ten dollars you can pay ten dollars or fifteen dollars but if you perform and you're an artist you should give your fans what they should get you don't know you know what i'm saying doing a and the first thing you do is get on stage and say i, I didn't get paid my money that's not our fault we paid our money talk to the um the promoters about that but besides that but, but gorilla 
be honest with you you can't have your bodyguard beating up people only if they really trying to attack you on the streets or really throw something you know do some really crazy stuff you know and i don't blame him his his job is to protect you make sure you don't get shot make sure nobody try to rob you for your jewelry and get you in the car safe that's his job to do so for you to want him to beat up people he, he can't do that you know this is a, a business he gotta run you know what i'm saying you know, you got, he got family to feed. He beat up that person and he go to jail. You might not get him out of jail. You might be like, oh, I didn't tell him to do it. So he did the right thing. Got you out the venue, got you into the truck, and you took off. If you want to be mad at him about that, that's up to you. But like it's a gorilla, you know, you, you keep a whole bunch of girls with you. You could have had your homegirls beat him up. Beat the fan, beat the fan up if you wanted to. You got you keep a, what, five, six homegirls with you and they ghetto as a motherfucker. So... It shouldn't be a problem for you to send one of your homegirls to go beat that person thing up if you feel like they violated you. But anyway, subscribe to the channel, put a like on the button. We out of here. Peace.